Welcome, one and all. Welcome to Equestria at War. This is the My Little Pony mod for Hearts of Iron 4. It's one of the best mods on the whole of the Steam Workshop. And uh, it, has, <laughs> it has that reputation uh, of, of, of people... Once they play it, they're like, oh my god, this is amazing. But because of the, I guess, the setting, it puts a lot of people off. But I'm, I'm, I'm here to tell you to play the mod. And I'm going to now show you what is it all about? So, bam! Here we go. Welcome. If you're watching this on YouTube, if this gets made into a YouTube video, please do comment, like, and subscribe. Let's smash that button. Get get me 5,000 likes. Hey. Now, there are multiple options. You can play alone or play with friends. I don't trust any of you to join me in this, so I'm going to play alone. <laughs> and there are so many different factions to choose from, or nations. You could have Equestria, the Crystal Empire, Stalingrad, the Changeling Lands, the Kingdom of Davlugan, Emperor Grover V of Griffenheim, Riverswirl. It's just amazing. I, except I'm not sure what nations are meant to be, if there's the equivalent of... Oh, hold on. Are you going? Bye. <laughs> Bye, Alpha Rambler. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Look, no. Lady Rambler, no. It's not the, uh, it's not, it's not the, it's not the Alpha. Okay, the bear is. Nobody questions the bear. So let's take a little look at the map and we can kind of see what's going on. So we have two continents. Don't ask me to um, name either of them. I don't know. But you've even got the kingdom of Pingland. Pedguin. Pedguin's in the game. Then we have the kingdom of Olenia. You've got the Changeling Lands, the Queen Crystallis. Then over on this side, you, have, you do have the Griffonian Empire. But yeah, let's play as the Changelings. Ooh. Party ideology supremacy. Not too long ago, Queen uh, Chrysalis and her changelings launched a daring invasion to take over Equestria and its capital of Cantalot. <laughs> Fortunately for the Equestrians, it was met with disaster. This defeat only intensified the changelings' hatred of ponies. Using this anger, Chrysalis had successfully gathered near universal support for her cause and unified all of the hives to her rule alone. Under her reign, the army has seen radical and rapid modernization with the introduction of modern firearms, vehicles, and tactics. The time is ripe for a new war, and this time the changelings may finally achieve their ultimate victory over their enemies. We've got a changeling Griffonian attaché. Ooh, improving the quality of imperial tanks. Political divisions. Hmm. Cantalot defeat. Despite ending in failure, Crystallis came tantalizingly close to the capture of Cantalot. I think I'll probably stick with historical AI. That's probably the best way forward, right? Iron Pony mode. No. Ah, uh, more insectoid. In, more insectoid than equine. Sorry. More more insectoid than horse. <laughs> Their name comes from their ability to perfectly shape shift, temporarily changing opinion, voice, and even size. Oh my god! They lived in underground hives and obey queens. Oh wow. Wow, there's so much history to this, isn't there? And there's over a hundred contributors to the mod, which is, um, like, I don't know, it's just amazing, really. Look, you've even got, like, frickin' Pony Power. Who doesn't, who loves Pony Power, eh? I love Pony Power. Give yourself more power to your pony. Chrysalis began a vast program to modernise and expand the Changeling army. Ah, okay. However, the Changelings lack many strategic resources vital for the war effort. This seems, um, quite similar. <laughs> Soon the puny pony shall tremble to the Georgia game I was doing last week, and the changes will reign supreme. Long live the queen. Okay, so, holy moly! That's bright, isn't it? Someone said in the chat, don't pick Thoraxian Betrayal. It's very hard and sadly outdated. It's crushed the Thoraxian resistance. The remnants of filthy harmonic terrorist groups have once again activated in various hive cities across the country. Multiple intelligence sources state that they will soon begin their final rebellion from against the legitimate government. However, our loyal agents are already working on locating their hideouts, which will make our final move. The resistance shall be crushed. What kind of buff does that give me? We get extra war support and we get countrywide country raids. I didn't even know there was terrorists going on. I presume this is it, the political divisions. So what do the units look like? We have proper tank divisions. Oh my god, yep. Yep, they've modelled ponies. They've modelled ponies in the mod. I wish I could give you a better angle. Oh my god, it's the German name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, baby. They're the changelings, sorry. They're the changelings, but they're, they're modelled after ponies, I think, still, right? Oh, that's brilliant. That is amazing. Got a pretty decent-sized navy, too. Crumbs. We've got some motorised divisions, some changelings. Thank you. Thank you for making this. As I've said, I'm not a brony, but I can still appreciate 
a very good mod. And the fact that you've put so much effort into the lore and just the overall experience is just brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there's just so many little bits here. Look, the pony is pointing to this. It's giving it's giving a chat on research. Hermes Thab, Deiter Heinrich. Let's go for Deiter. Oh wait, you can only need four divisions. I think I'll switch Deiter to Hermes. There we go. That was weird. He's a visitor from another dimension. Well, he's going to lead some troops. Queen's Guard trait is the one doing it. Oh, he's the Queen's Guard. Okay, thank you. Thank you. The Queen's Guard understands the truth of war. <gasps> oh my god, this was my childhood. Sooty and Sweep. Who put that in there? Okay, I have to have Sooty leading armies, don't I? Come on. Sooty will lead the, uh, the militias. What do the divisions look like at the moment? Infantry division. Are those 18 pony width? 16 pony width. Pony power. The Queen's Guard. Some Jaegers, Panzers. Very nice. Okay, well, on pause. So our capital is Vesalipolis. I'm not going to pronounce that incorrectly. Uh, and I'll, we border with the Kingdom of Olina. Oh, King Johan. And we have the Crystal Empire, Equestria, led by Princess Celestia. We've got the po <laughs> Wellington. <laughs> oh. You're rooting for the polar bears. Well, what, shall we look at what else there is? We've got some freaking griffins. Nova Griffonia. I often get frustrated with with base game Hearts of Iron, but having having it in a different setting like this, it's very nice. It's lovely. There's just so much content here. I wish more people would give the mod a try. People would just see the setting and think, I'm not going to play that. But you really should. The amount of effort that's put into this. There's so much content. I know an endorsement from me doesn't really mean much, but it has my endorsement. Is there Sweep somewhere else in the mod? Let's just have a look. I just want to see Sweep. <gasps> He's a Prince of Terror! <laughs> Oh, yes, that's brilliant. Oh, my God. Okay, we'll destroy the resistance. Let's do Long Live the Queen. Radio transmitters have been provided to almost every house in the country. Loudspeakers are set up on every square. Portraits are hung in every hive. Every changeling in the country shall know the face and voice of their benevolent queen. The changeling folk need a strong ruler in these uncertain times. Only under the leadership of Queen, Queen Chrysalis, our race can know unity and prosperity. Oh! Oh, jeez. Oh, the Emperor is dead. After a 40-year reign, the Griffonian Emperor Grover the V passed away in the Imperial Palace. Let's get some Fs in chat for Emperor Grover the V. B. Coloni becomes Prime Minister. Gullio B. Coloni, leader of the far-right PNF as Wing Bardi's new Prime Minister. I wonder who that is. Queen Chrysalis stormed into the Vop's headquarters in the foulest mood. She marched past the array of changing, trying to desperately look busy, only to briefly pausing to scan them contemptuously before approaching the Vop's head of intelligence, Vaspia Orn Cladsalum. Oh, four acts escaped. Silence, she barked hospital. You failed, Director. I had half a mind to have you shot. Oh. <gasps> Forgive my failure, he replied with a wince. It was better to take the Queen's insults on the chin than to try and fight back. Indeed. We were mounting an operation to capture Thorax, but it appears something... Some Ling in Vops tipped him off. He'll flee to a harmonic nation, so send out all the spies we have to Equestria, the Crystal Empire, and Yaka Yaka Stan. So, who is the guy we're looking for? Just like a rebel that's, that's gotten away? Well, let's build an intel network in the uh, polar bear community. <gasps> Vops command eyes only. Our intelligence traced Thorax to Yakistan. Is that how you say it? Yak? Oh, sorry. Yak Yakistan. Thorax fled south, pursued by our agents. Miscommunication resulted in an escape into the Crystal Empire. An assassination would be easy to arrange, but as the mission required him alive, this was not an option. Trail went cold. Yeah, she's not going to like this. Oh, dear. Another option. Oh, my gosh. Here we go. Rosalis paced back and forth in her personal headquarters. One insolent grub had given the entire here and the best agents of the Vops the slip. Incompetence. The lot of them. She was surrounded by idiots. Maybe even traitors. There's traitors everywhere. Yes. The captain of the Queen's Guard entered with a bow. My Queen. <laughs> it's Jon Snow. Jon Snow's in the mod. <laughs> oh, wait. Are we Daenerys Targaryen now? You are the only one I can trust for this. I need to do a top to bottom. <laughs> As four acts is currently beyond our reach, I had the idea to hold a trial with a loyal, skilled infiltrator masquerading as him. Hmm. So I either take the political power here, or I hold a fake trial. Let's focus on Vops. I'm not going to do the trial, because he'll probably pop up. So doing a sham trial is just going to make me look weak later on down the line, I think. Civil War in Longsword. The county of Longsword has been under the rule of the Reinforstein faction of the Griffin Knights. Oh. The amount of artwork, like your artists are very talented. Final propaganda wave. Here we go. The propaganda machine has been in motion since 1002 after Chrysalis's failed invasion of Inquestria. Oh, that's only five years ago. 
Ah, now the situation has calmed down, the Ministry of Information will begin a new propaganda campaign. Everyone who lives in the country will come to the conclusion that changeling supremacy should be the ultimate goal of the citizen. Summer sun celebration. Disgusting. Cover the windows. Wasn't it just like this Scottish mum? When these when the two girls were just filming themselves, just, uh, I don't know what they were doing, making a TikTok or something? And then the mum walks in, and it's like, which one of you uh, took a <laughs> and didn't flush? Disgusting! <laughs> the love. <laughs> Queen's Guard Captain Heinrich reviewed his notes with Vespia on the recent audit of Vops. Okay, so we're finding uh, all the infiltrators. There he is! Gullio Bicolini! <laughs> <laughs> I might have to play as him one day. Oh, that's hilarious. Raw support of smaller hives. Oh, increases our pony power. And we get new hives, which increases our monthly population and construction speed. Damn! Get the hives are going. Give me more pony power. Hmm. Okay, that's enough to change to 20 combat whips for the infantry. I like that they've already got support companies in. Oh. No. Oh. I misclicked. <gasps> Charity Bloom. Let's torture that one. Love extraction. Extracting love from another living creature, normally a pony, is a natural process for a changeling. To meet the increased demands of a growing nation, the natural magic involved in the process can be improved through research. Jeez Louise. They have one division. I could destroy the polar bears. Let's send an envoy. I'm definitely stronger than them. To the northeast, the polar bears hold dominion. While they are, as a species, definitely dangerous, that does not apply to their nation as a whole. Their military is far behind ours. It should be an easy matter to extort gold from them. Gold! Completion of the tower. Oh, yes. We're building a mighty shaft. Oh, God, what's, what's the building in London called? The Shard! Not the shaft. It's called the Shard. Thank you. Envoy to the polar bears. Um, we demand your gold reserves. We need your resources. We need your gold reserves and territories. Our envoys recently undertook the perilous journey into the frigid Arctic lands to negotiate directly with Paul Wellington and present our demands. When our envoys finally made it to the capital of the polar lands, they quickly laid out our demands and made it clear uh, we would not take no for an answer. Paul Wellington remained defiant, insisting that the proud bear nation would never yield. Okay, well, we're going to conquer the polar bears. I think we'll strike the bear because you screw them, right? Yeah, I'm just going to conquer them. Even after our threats, the bears continue to defy us. It's time to teach them a lesson. They uh, didn't stand a chance, eh? Oh, do I have to go all the way around there? No. Good. There we go. Led by Arthur James Pinguinton. Eh! Now, for this kingdom, pitiful little band. Which I know I need more divisions for. Right. Just don't worry. We'll get them. Queen Chrysalis looked at the draft of the communique she'd spent the past few hours working on. The letter would be sent to King Johan du Alava regarding an awful ill fate treated by a sign by the Changing Lands and the Long Dead. Long Dead! King Aldar. Okay, so we have various agents, so I'm going to send those down to build a, a network. Kingdom of Alenia rejects our demands. Hives Marshal Trimmel read the response of King Johan with a pleased smile on his face. Your demands that we cede Slogged and Bulgsked and Fyrdala are utterly preposterous. These lands were given to the deer by the treaty established by King Aldar. In case you have forgotten, we need or will not give them back just because you demand them. Alenia does not cower before bullies. I think it's the excuse we've wanted, the queen said, rubbing her hooves together. Mm. If the deer think that firm words will be all it takes to save them, we'll be disappointed. One way or another, they will fall. Oh, we've got a strange discovery. Mmm. We've been informed of an unusual item found by a group of curious younglings. Magical energy that can clearly be felt in its vicinity. Perhaps it'd be wiser to study it first. Good. Unassigned divisions, you say? Sooty will lead them. So what? Oh, I should probably garrison my ports. Yes, I think I'll actually reassign you five. And you can be on garrison duty. Just the ports we need to worry about. AI never power drops. Oh man, there's so much I would like to do before I go to war, but I know I need to expand pretty quickly. Huh? How have I done the most world tension? How dare you? Use magic weapons. How does one get the magic weapons? I would have to research them, right? Infantry company will require magical infantry equipment. Huh? <gasps> Ooh. Early prototype of the magical rifle. Does it cost more to build them? So I don't understand how they've deployed their forces here because I'm just going to be able to encircle the north. Okay, so we're going to go to war with the kingdom of Alenia. Well, attack. Stalingrad condemns our invasion. Equestria also condemns the invasion. Oh, no. 
But that, that, was an, that was a really nice encirclement we managed to do here. So that's 10 units, 10 units of their army that's already encircled and is going to perish pretty quickly. So how many casualties? That's 68,000 compared to eight, our, our 8,000 casualties. So we should be able to just kind of blitz through, I'm, I'm hoping. And they are managing to deploy new units, but I, I think we've probably uh, got this covered. Once we break through, I guess, like the mountain... Oh, God. Yeah, it's a bit of a shit to attack this place, isn't it? We've encircled more of their forces. Pitiful little bands. Ah, oh, the fall of Vavafront. Reports from early this morning tell of changeling forces overrunning the Olelian city of Vavafront, clearing out the last defenders desperately holding on to the city's ports. Just look at this! There's ponies driving tanks, or changeling driving tanks. But I'm just blitzing around now just to F up their AI even more. Alenia surrenders. Cowards, a lot of them. Hives Marshal Trimble said, shaking his head. I barely started my tanks before the Alenians folded. My panzers still have half full tanks of gasoline. The Alenians must be issued with white flags with their soldiery kits, because I've never seen so many fly so quickly. I almost shot them out of frustration. <laughs> Olenia surrenders. The changeling war against Olenia. Olena did not go a very long time. Having no help or backup, <laughs> plan by their side. Realising the defeat is inevitable, King Johan and his ministers decided to to surrender. It's almost like they're France. Check out the decisions. Form the Olenian Protectorate. Ooh. Okay. With the overall triumph over the ponies and deer across Equus has become necessary to consolidate our rule. It is unlikely that the ponies will ever cease their resistance against us. Yeah. We should form several autonomous protectorates. Sure. That actually makes a lot more sense. Did I actually increase my territory at all? A little bit. Ooh, they're starting to build up their forces quite a lot. I don't know, how powerful do I need to be to go to war with Equestria? Because at the moment, it looks pretty chonky. I need 100 divisions and 80 military factories. Should I just give up now, then? Do I want to bother building these energy weapons? Because maybe I shouldn't bother now. I think I might have left it too late. Because then how do you get your infantry equipped with magical weapons? Do you have to change them into magical infantry? All right, well, well, we'll commit a few factories to the production of those, because I, I think it would be quite fun to have some magical stuff. We'll give it a go, eh? We'll try our best to overthrow Equestria. Magical weapons for special forces. Oh, special forces will require magical infantry equipment instead of infantry equipment. Brilliant! I would have liked to have uh, gone after, like, the maybe the peng like Pedguin, and then maybe over there. I would have liked to have conquered most of the continent before trying to go after... Will Stalingrad be my ally? <sighs> Ooh... Maybe. Unlikely. Damn it. The enemy of your enemy is your friend. And I guess I just need to lead the armies here. War is inevitable. The time has come to seek our redemption from the failure at Cantalot. The time has come to destroy our primary rival and assume our rightful position as the masters of Equus. Our military is poised to strike and the Queen's Guard ready to crush any distance once we secure Equestria. I don't like it. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. The war is inevitable. The time to act now is now, my queen, Highs Marshal Trimble said. The heroes work closely with Vops to analyse the equestrian defences, and they are, shall I put it simply, woefully inadequate. We have the soldiers, we have the supplies, and more importantly, we have the willpower to dominate Equestria. Are you sure that we are prepared? We are ready as we ever be, my queen. Okay. And so it begins the great battle of our time. And they're already attacking me. But I have aero superiority. I have aero superiority! Let's see if my forces can actually hold. Okay, well we held that first attack. We're low on pony power. Increase, <laughs> increase production. So if I went, so we're already on limited exports. Recruitable population of negative 3%. Then I would need to change my conscription law to at least extensive to cover that. Yes, so that's 5%. I think I'm just going to go war economy. Just want to keep our casualties a lot lower than theirs. Wait, the Crystal Empire joined. Oh yeah, we're outnumbered. Although we're taking attrition up here, they're losing a lot of equipment, which I don't think they can get back. At least they can't get back easily. However, the supply that we have here is just god-awful. I think I'll have to take my uh, panzers out, and then it should be okay. I think we may win, just because our equipment is uh, obviously in better condition than theirs. Yeah, let's hope we can still keep holding, eh? I just want to encircle these. Oh my god, what does it take? Just die! We've taken Aconage! <laughs> I've never been, I don't, I, I haven't been this intense in a scenario for a while, have I? I am dedicated to this mod. Aye! What an unfortunate encirclement. They got out. I don't even know how to, how that freaking happened, man. That's irritating AF. A half swarming miracle. Recently, every pony soldier on the front prepared to celebrate half swarming eve. There have been reports of one fortified position. Oh my god. The, it's the football. <laughs> awesome. 
Hoofball, sorry, hoofball. Brilliant. Oh man, we're stuck in a stalemate here, aren't we? Ha ha ha! Ladies and gents, we got him. Oh, actually, do you know what? Let's right. let's get all of my Panzer divisions over into our Panzer right, Commander, and then we should be able to go ham a bit more. We'll be attacking into a forest tile. It might be worth the risk if we can do some joint tank offensives. Oh, they're going for another general advance again. They must be up to a million casualties. They are, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, I might just have to wait until they exhaust themselves a bit more on me. All back! <laughs> This is, this is quite irritating at how strong they've managed to get so soon. Oh, my butt is clenched. If it seems chaotic at the moment, it's because it is. Their armies are kind of cycle charging me. So I've, insert, I've done an encirclement here, so we'll finish off some more ponies. Death to the ponies. The changelings will rise. Wipe them out, every last one of them. So on most points we're holding, it's this central bit that we're struggling. Yeah, I'm just going to let them keep attacking for a while. I want them to exhaust as much of their man pa pony power as they can. I don't know how much pony power they have, but they have a lot. But honestly, if they keep attacking me like this, they're, they're going to run out of equipment, aren't they? I know you were warning me, they're like, it's going to be a challenge, but I, I, I kind of thought like, you know, I'll probably be okay. But no, I'm actually having to micro. I hate microing. It highlights how lazy of a Hearts of Iron player I am. I just need to cross the river. We're across the river. I'm now going to encircle all of these. <laughs> we're going to blitz. Just need to create an encirclement worthy of the uh, changelings. Hey, crush them, make them suffer. Oh my god, we're doing it. Sorry, is Van Hoover meant to be Vancouver? Please let it be that. I'm definitely going to cap- All my efforts are going towards recapturing Van Hoover now. Let's take my city. We're going to reclaim Van Hoover for me. Oh well, they're already defending Van Hoover. I'll encircle it then. We'll starve them into submission. Die. Let me have you. Let me have Van Hoover and the Salt Lick City. Seattle. Oh yeah, I just noticed that. Seattle. I want Van Hoover. Oh, they're, they're evacuating it. The fall of Van Hoover. Hey. A valuable naval base and trade port. What are the casualties like now? We're actually close to outnumbering them. To Salt Lick City we go. Kablamo. Oh, this is just a piece of pie now, isn't it? We held them. We inflicted so many casualties and now they're just struggling to hold. I mean, we're losing agents left, right and center, but that's worth it for what we're doing here. If I did a full assault, what does it look like? Most places it's fine. Against the Crystal Empire, not so much. Oh no, they're naval invading Van Hoover! <laughs> you weren't expecting that, were you? Equestria. Has anyone said Gallopoli? If that isn't a focus, that needs to be one. Uh, but yeah, Equestria are pretty much done. Um, this, on the other hand, is not looking so great. But we'll stop all advances, apart from this one, which we're just going to, I think, set up and then uh, let them have some fun. And set our sights on Cantalot. Same with our Panzers. I think we'll just go straight for Cantalot. We'll spearhead our advance to Cantalot. I'm going to see if I can't do like an encirclement. Then we'll try and take Applewood. The Shire? We are unstoppable. Where was the Shire? Was Applewood the Shire? Francisco. <laughs> oh, there's the Shire. Oh, I've, I've advanced so much. I don't honestly know what's best for me here. And now they have medium tanks. I went down light tanks thinking that that was the way. But this is the way. So I'm, I'm probably outnumbered again. Yeah, yeah. They... Oh, that's irritating. Stalingrad really saved them. No, there's nowhere that I could really attack from. At least up here they're taking so much attrition, and I'm not. So I've done... I think I've done the right thing by not focusing on the Crystal Empire. I think I'm just going to keep focusing on maybe this front and trying to encircle down here. But only on maybe flat tiles or hills. We're, we're approaching mountains again. So maybe up here, where it's all flat, I could do some encirclements. But then I'm going to have the problems with um, forests, maybe? I'm... Come on. Oh, that's three tank divisions gone. Brilliant. This uh, whole flank is kind of open now. I think that I'm going to have to oh, finish this maybe next week, as there's no way I'm going to get this done in the next half an hour. Um, <laughs> and I'm, I'm reaching my limit for, for streaming. But yeah, I think we did okay. Like We managed to advance a little bit. The Crystal Empire is still where they started, I think. If it wasn't for Stalingrad, this war would be over. Um, so yeah, I hope to finish this next week, probably next Friday. So this is this is honestly a great mod. If you haven't played it, please, please, please uh, give it a go and uh, give the mod a try. Thank you for watching. Toodaloo for now. Oh, I'm going to go... Eggs. Toodaloo. Many thanks to Onion Duck, Seth Cutter Stoevic, Maximilian Foreman, Wyatt Green, Zachariah Mosby, Brandon Preston, Tad House, Vash, Warren P. George, Valhalla Halls, Ya yeah Boy, Jack Troshu, Jiggly Crotch, Use Beef, and Logan Whaley for being ridiculous Rambler supporters on Patreon, and many thanks to all the other patrons too!